Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. This is going to be my review of the Horus Heresy Burning of Prospero boxed game set uh, from Games Workshop. One of these sets will set you back £95. Uh, it's a fair bit of money, but look how many miniatures you get. Crikey, and you get a game system too. I've reread read um, Thousand Sons not that long ago, so for me, all of these miniatures and the story behind them and things are, are very much at the forefront of my mind. So it's su such a good time for this set to come out and give sort of physical manifestation to thought. Many people are comparing it to the Betrayal at Kalth uh, box set. If you haven't uh, been into 30k at all yet, uh, and you'd like to, the Betrayal at Kalth is uh, the, the better sort of starter set, um, if you will. You, you get your 30 Space Marines, um, you get two special characters, you get Cataphracty uh, Terminator armor, which I prefer to, to Tartarus, um, and you get your Contemptor. And you can use all those models in, in the set. Uh, if you're going for this set, the, the characters are named characters. So in a way, you, you can't use them for, for armies as, as easily as you, as you would the Betrayal at Kalth. There's also some very Imperial heavy stuff in here. You've got the Custodians, which are the Emperor's personal sort of bodyguard. And you've got the Sisters of Silence, which are again uh, in a similar image however i do think this is a great set and it's a lovely game too um, they're building on the success of betrayal at kalth and um who knows maybe in the future they'll have a, a mark 5 uh set come out to do with raven guard or imperial fists or salamanders salamanders in plastic would be pretty cool wouldn't it but anyway uh, and maybe even a vehicle um such as a as a plastic rhino or a, a predator something like that that would also be great too so for the meantime we'll talk about the models but what i've done is i've made review videos for each individual unit so a review video for the space marines for the custodians for the characters sisters and, and the tartarus and um, terminators if you want to hear more of what i think about them go check those videos out where i i spend a good good amount of time looking at them, giving you the pros and cons and, and all the rest of it. So we'll just go through a brief overview of, of overview of the models. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I think Games Workshop have done such a good job. Everything from the uh, special characters, which are absolutely beautiful and have so much detail, considering they are, um, you know, plastic and not resin. I think Araman is such a beautiful model too, um, and a great mo model as a proxy librarian or, or sorcerer or whatever and um, fantastic the custodians met my expectations uh they're absolutely huge there's a space marine look at the size space marine's supposed to be seven seven to eight foot tall emperor only knows how tall a custodian really is it's just absolutely huge and um they're going to sort of look like normal space marines next to the emperor when they release his model in probably 10 or 20 years <laughs> um, but still love the custodians they're they are my favorite part of the kit and i do really enjoy the the uh, mark three power armor too but just absolutely beautiful models and this and the weapons themselves the uh the swords and the, the guardian spears are just just fantastic um sisters of silence are fantastic too uh, the great little models. I do. I still still do question that the height of them. I, I really do. I mean, they are very tall ladies, and um, the models are a great sort of basis for their sisters of battle that they'll probably be releasing. Um, the Tartarus. They did a wonderful job with those. Some great sort of dynamic poses can be uh, made with them, and they've got the the sort of proper chain fists in my opinion which is a power fist with a chain chain blade on the on the underbelly of it rather than just like a little fist with a with a chain sword because well in, in my view that just looks like a like a chain sword but there we go and they did they did a great job with the the sergeant's power sword and it is a uh, volkite the plasma gun looks really awesome too uh, plasma caster i think it is um 
and also the the power armored space marines they look fantastic i think they did a great job um the the bolt guns look great the the bonus of the chain swords on the back the heads the legs um the detail detailing you, you can really put these models together and make your um 30k army at quite relative quite relatively cheap cost you know as i said before it's 95 pounds you could probably get a, a discount somewhere because we know that they'll probably games Workshop will probably be selling um 10 mark threes for 30 pounds i would have thought and 35 pounds for the for the tartarus the custodians i'm going to be very intrigued at how much they're going to sell those for if they're going to be 20 pounds or i think it's going to be realistic that it'll be 25 or 30 pounds you do get a lot of options in that set and uh, you can create some some excellent poses with them though uh, the only sort of downsides as i've said in the power armor review is i don't think they get flamers they only get the melter guns and the um, plasma guns and they don't get missile launchers they only get the heavy bolters i've nicked that missile launcher from from a mark IV, um and also the sergeants get uh, quite a nice selection of melee weapons um, and the sisters uh, have got a lot of options too you can pretty much create all of them with bolt guns and flamers if you wished um, all these uh, all these lovely ultra great swords there are a small selection of people that will play the actual game in the box because we all know the main reason why you'd get this set is if you were already had a 30k army and you wanted to expand or if you had waited for plastic 30k models and you wanted to get into 30k hairy plastic models there's a very very small amount of people um, that were looking for another small box game um, from Games Workshop to to just play it with all new different rules that's a very small minority it will it they will consist of of people that are extremely new to the hobby or veterans that want a bit of a change from 30k and 40k the, the thing is though 30k is so balanced well it has to be because it's space marines and space marines but it's so nicely balanced that many people will just use these for that um game system that rule system rather than have to learn a brand new game system in this box but saying that there are people that will uh, play the game in the box um so that's why i'm just going to go through all the other items that you get in there and the, the rules and, and so forth. So I'll do that in a moment. So I've just moved to one side of the models. Um, like the Patrol at Calfee, you get this lovely uh, box that is you know quite durable and will last quite a while. You get all of these, uh, all of these dice in here. Um, many different Ds, I think there's a D12 in there and D8s and things like that. Uh, and so on and they're, they're lovely and I, I like the space wolf and the red sort of you know um coloring of them you get these cards um it's part of the scenery so you get these with the emperor loss of will and so on and then you also get these which are sort of like the uh psychic powers of the um thousand suns which is pretty cool and they're in this lovely sort of horus heresy forge world kind of red and creamy color you get the rules which i'll talk about in a little moment and these these data sheets sort of go with the rules um like you've got the legio custodes Custards, and then you get this lovely um, Burning of Prospero Legions at War. So you've got Ariman for the rules, and you've got Gaigor for the uh, for the backstory. Um, and it's this lovely little supplement. I'd like to see more of these kind of things, small supplements with Forge World artwork and numbering and i'm so pleased that they did it like this and didn't adopt a different style like they kind of did with them um, uh storm cloud attack they changed the book landscape and I, yeah i just wasn't a big fan of that portrait always um 
well that's what that's what I prefer anyway gives you lots of information about both of the legions and obviously the the other parties involved the custodian guard sisters of silence um Araman and the um terminators and then it gives you just a small little advert at the back um regarding the Horus Heresy big black books which are 70 something pounds and then you know some of the Horus Heresy series too so really nice sort of little supplement uh, just talk about the scenery then I'll talk about the rules so the, the, the scenery aspects oh, there's some more of the cards there you also get some baggies which is which are extremely useful for, for spare parts especially in this set I just take this opportunity now to, to let you know that you get a lot of spare parts in this set a lot for the um, Mark 3 Power Armor Space Marine especially if you don't use the chain swords and the pouches um, for the magazines and the uh, bolt pistol um, bolt pistol and pouches you get a lot of those left hand and right hand surprised me a little bit but anyway you get, get some baggies and you get the um, you get some thousand suns transfer sheets now it's important to know that you only get 10 of each so if you mess up you're going to have to hand paint a few of them so just bear that in mind and the same for the uh, space wolves and also you get some you get four aquilas for the uh, sisters of silence so just bear that and then you get some for the legion terminators and for the sergeants so uh, just thought I'd mention that and then in here you get the game boards and we'll just talk about those and we'll talk about the rules at the same time so it just talks to you about the squad assembly about which force goes with with which loyalist force and the traitor force and setting up so you pick up a scenario then place your board tiles pick a side you gather the dice get your psychic power cards ready prepare the shuffle decks and then muster your force um, and the scenario will detail number of models for each player so we would pick a scenario and then play in the game let's just talk about that you get an enumeration phase where traitors can cast three of their psychic powers using the, the warp energy cards then you get a movement phase an attack phase and a consolidation phase and then it goes on and talks about each enumerate each phase so the enumeration phase you get psychic power cards warp energy cards and willpower cards uh, tells you about how to cast psychic powers the movement phase you've got claiming the initiative and it gives you little examples which is great traversing different zones there are some obstructions then the attack phase and you've got the two profile sheets in here that tell you sort of what to do which which uh, dice you can use such as like um, Araman uses a D12 for his Hecker staff. A Custodian uses a D8 for, for combat. And uh, Guardian Spear uses a D10. Geigor also uses a D12. So you basically, that your attack phase, these two sheets will help you. You've got one for the Loyalist and one for the for the Traitors. Um, you, you either have, you, you make an attack, then you've got shooting attacks and combat attacks. You've also got this line of sight, which is a bit odd because obviously you've got, you know, there's, there are things that could obstruct it on a on a 2D board, which is a bit, bit strange. Then you've got resolving attacks, attack roll, armor roll, re-rolls, uh, suffer damage, and then you've got the consolidation phase where you shuffle the cards back, uh, wound counters, um, place next to models are removed, um, and so on. And then it goes on to uh, the, the scenarios. So you've got Shatter the Perimeter, talks to you about the forces, the powers, the setup, victory, uh, also shows you the uh, deployment zones. So you pick this scenario, so you go, okay then, this is the board that we're using. You've got Loyalist players deployment zones. So you'd put, you know, Geigor there and one Legion tactical squad. So we'd put a tactical squad sort of there and a, sis and a sister superior. So we'd have it there. So you could have it like that 
I would have thought. So then forces for the traitors, you'd have one tactical squad and a, a Tartarus Terminator Sergeant. You could put him there maybe, and then you could put these guys down here, possibly. Don't know how they'd all fit. So it'd sort of work like that. I don't know how all these 10 models are meant to fit in this small square, but there you go. Um, to me, I think that looks a little bit biased on the, the, the loyalist side, um, especially as they've got Gygor. However, the traitors do have um, Pavoni cult. So they have Bioelectrical Storm, Hyper Regeneration, Surge of rapid Rapidity, and two other random psychic powers. Traitor player sets their entire force first. Uh, anywhere within the zones marked in red. So maybe you could probably put some of the tacticals in another square. That's that's my sort of feeling of, of it. And then victory, space wolves uh, uh, seeking to penetrate deep into the heart of Tizka. In the movement phase, loyalist player can move any of their models off the edge of the board via any of the exits. So in this case, it would be there and there. That's victory, basically. They have to get to those two uh, exit points. It's also got this obstruction thing going on uh, where it looks like a crashed deodorant, ca I mean um, land speeder so that would that would go sort of there if that makes sense so that's the obstruction so you can't pass that or you know you won't have line of sight through that so that's that's quite cool and so on so that's quite a straightforward basic basic um, mission and that's a good little mission to start off with um, and then you've got the other scenario, so you've got Pride of Custodes, where you've got custodians surrounded by the traitors. You've got this one, whereas the hunters hunted. Um, you've got a tactical squad and sister, silent sisterhood squad against Araman and Terminators. Then this one, you've got uh, Gygor, tactical squad, custodes and sister uh, superior. And then traitors, you've got two veteran, two tactical squads and Tartarus and Terminators. And then this one, you've got Geiger, tactical, custodes, and then against Araman, two tacticals and Terminators. Um, and they more, the more that you go through them, the more they look sort of look quite complex. Then this one, you've got the Will of the Primarchs, where you have both players uh, field their entire force and the traitors have uh, five randomly selected psychic powers. So there are your six scenarios. They look really cool and fun, and uh, if you were to paint them in Space Wolves and Thousand Suns, I reckon you'd have a lot of fun. But again, you've got six scenarios that you can just keep playing over and over again um, on the same boards with those obstructions and things like that. Um, you're only really going to get your... your Full money's worth if you use these models in the, the 30k game and use them against other space marines and things like that so it's up to you if you if you want to paint them in the space wolves and thousand suns and only use them for this game that's fine but really to get your money's worth and to get the best value from them you're also best off taking them and using them in the uh, 30k games and even some of the 40k games too but obviously for that, pick one of the legions and then build a force around that. If you don't already. I mean, if you've got a uh, Thousand Suns army already, um, then these will also bolster that army. But also, if you paint Gygor and some of the tactical squads as uh, Space Wolves and the Custodians, you can use them in this game too. Um, obviously, for me, I'm going to be painting them in my own army colours. That certainly won't stop me from... Uh, playing games on this board and using them as their uh, respective legions. So in conclusion, I think it's an absolutely incredible box set and uh, not one to be missed, especially if you're just starting 30k or you've got an existing 30k force and you wish to just bolster the troops uh, with either sort of Mark III power armor or even plastic um, Tartarus Terminators or even if you're building a chapter like myself and you want some uh, Emperor's bodyguards, you want some you know, units that you can put in your chapter command that are just visiting the chapter or you know, um, inspecting it or you know, you can you can write your own fluff around that. It'll save you hundreds of pounds compared to just buying the resin models for Forge World. If you think that's worth it and um, the trade-off, 
uh, then that really is up to you. Um, you do get a lot of detail with um, resin, but whether you want to spend that kind of money for that extra detail is is really up to you. Um, if you want to see a comparison between the plastic Tartarus Terminators and the resin ones from Forge World, uh, I'd advise you to just check out my review that I put up um, a couple of weeks ago that draws some com comparisons with those, and also the Cataphracti and the uh, the standard Terminators too. So, so that might be very useful um, if you're on the fence. I think they've done an amazing job with the Mark III Power Armor. Uh, and the set is worth the the money just for those alone and the custodians like I said at the start surpassed my expectations um, absolutely lovely models and they're huge and they really give you a lot of presence on the on the battlefield as well as the gaming system you know I talked a lot about the gaming system and uh, it's a really fun little system if you want to sort of box yourself in and paint the models uh, Thousand Sons and Space Wolves and then build a, a legion uh, around both of them. Both of the legions are quite popular, especially Space Wolves and no doubt when Forge World, I say catch up, no doubt when Forge World start releasing more models for uh, the Space Wolf Legion and Thousand Sons and when they bring out the, the Prospero, um, you, know, you know, like Black Book, sort of January, February time next year, they're going to have a lot more models out there in resin to, to support this and make use of it too. We've already seen uh, the, you know, Sakaar and Grav tanks basically of the, the Custodians uh, from Forge World. No doubt we'll see many more variants and, you know, jet bikes and things like that for them. And that's all I've really got to say about this set. Uh, absolutely fantastic and Games Workshop seem to be going in, in the right direction. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.